after the assembly elections in Assam and the Autonomous District Council polls in Tripura. The focus is now on Meghalaya's Garo Hills, where polls to the 30-member Garo Hills Autonomous District Council are slated to be held on April 12th. And this is turning out to be a high-profile election with Chief Minister and NPP National President Konrad Sangma himself terming the polls as a test for the ruling coalition. And not only this, Sangma is also going all out against the Congress, accusing the party of doing nothing during its 10-year rule in Meghalaya. Addressing several meetings in Chokpot area, including one at Deku Bazaar, to seek mandate for party candidate Weninson Marak, Sangma said Meghalaya has seen much development in three years of MTA rule. Meanwhile, a Manipur deputy chief minister also campaigned for NPP alongside Sangma. Addressing a gathering, Joy Kumar urged people to back the NPP to ensure that regional parties have a bigger role to play in the region. Regional party, MPP, Manipur People's Party. Over the years, people understood that this is the, this part, that sort of party will never be able to bring the, the, the bodies together. And uh, today, of course, at one time, MPP also ruled many in Manipur. We had two ministers from MPP. But over the years, now people are more educated, people are understand the, our requirement and all this. Thing. What I'm from my experience, from what I've seen is that small regional party can play very little role in bringing about development, in bringing about understanding and cooperation among the people. I want to give to you to support our party and its candidate. Meanwhile, it's not just the NPP. The Congress too is looking to stamp its authority in council polls. Leader of the opposition, Dr. Mukul Sangma, today released the manifesto of the party during an election campaign in Songsak. The manifesto of the Congress highlighted its pledges, uh, which included the development of a local area development fund to all MDCs equally. Secondly, the manifesto promised to abolish monopoly and other double multiple taxation system as the same has uh, effect on the price of goods and commodities from outside the state as well as those going out of the state. Well, further, the Congress stated that it would like to share revenue with the Nokmas as has been provided in the sixth schedule. It further stated its intention of strengthening both the village council system and well as the administration system within GHADC with the thought of making administration corruption-free. 